Tonight, there's barely a reason to smile these days, but for one bear, there now is. This thick-skinned 500-pound black bear, nicknamed Hank the Tank, was accused of getting his paws involved in a series of house break-ins in the Lake Tahoe area, known to be a natural bear habitat. With windows smashed, fences broken, and more than 150 incident reports of bear break-ins in the area, officials were eager to stop this overbearing forager. They're supposed to be hibernating, but they've been so used to people and being fed year round, they don't they don't really do the bear stuff. Initially, law enforcement warned the bear, also known as Yogi, Chunky, and Big Guy, had seemingly lost its fear of humans and threatened to euthanize the rotund mammal. Police officers used everything from uh, sirens to loud noises to shouting at them to beanbags. He's still here. They've figured out how to operate car doors to get into after food that's in cars. Um, a couple of them figured out how to work French doors to get into the house. One mama bear even was seen teaching her cubs how to get into that French door. The Bear League said it was vehemently opposed to euthanization. We believe he's one of our neighbors and he's only doing what he's been taught to do. The bears will usually die trying to get back home um, or they'll starve to death because they, they don't know where to find food. Now, officials have put the effort on pause. New DNA evidence collected at a recent break-in scene linked a bear minimum of not one, not two, but three bears to these uncanny incidents. New DNA evidence reveals that as many as three bears, two female bears and one male bear, may be responsible for the property damage and home break-ins in the Tahoe Keys neighborhood over the past several months. On Thursday, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife said it will begin trapping the bear brigade to tag the animals and collect evidence for genetic analysis. Then they'll be released to a, quote, suitable habitat, thus exonerating the boisterous bear. Officials hope these incidents will change how the public interacts with local wildlife. It's a new lease on life, if you will, for... Um the large male black bear. Officials say residents in bear prone areas should avoid leaving food outside, keep garbage cans secure, and only put waste out on trash day. As for the Bear League, they say long live Hank the Tank. Zinkle Esamwa, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.